cards are amazing combined with some images inside of them and we will build here these different cards and also some other cards with only a text inside. Let's get started by creating first of all a card widget and here we have a child property where we can set for example a column and what we want to do now is to place here two texts inside so we put here one text inside which is a quote and then we also have here some space and then comes the second text with the person of this quote and then it looks like this so we have here our card around and this is a basic text and this also and now what we can do is also to put here this alignment to cross axis alignment start so that we put this text to the beginning then it looks like this and the card doesn't look so great right now because we don't have here any padding inside so we want to increase here the space at the top left and bottom and also on the right side and therefore we wrap this column inside of a padding widget and here we put a padding to all sides with 12 pixels and then it looks like this and we have here our first card created. Let's also create another card and this time we simply copy all the content which we had last time here inside and I simply changed here the first text and also the second text and if I hot reload we have here this rounded card and it looks almost the same as before. And now we want to make this card here more rounded and therefore we put here this shape inside and this rounded rectangle border and with this one you can define here the roundness of our card. So you put here the border radius inside and then you set here for example a border radius circular of 24 and then you see that our card is here exactly rounded at all sides. And you can also change this value so if you want to have more roundness then you put a higher value inside. If you want to have less then you put here a less value inside. Now let's also create here another card. So I simply copy the whole card of the last one and I changed here this text again to another text and also the description text. And I also put here the colors of this text to white. And now what we want to build here is this gradient colored card. So we have here two colors and the linear gradient is going down and to create this it is pretty easy. So first of all we add here a shadow color. So this is also what you can do and then you see here this shadow color in red. And to increase it you can also put here an elevation and if you put a higher value inside the more shadow you get. And we put here right now a shadow of 8 inside. And now we want to create this linear gradient and what we do therefore is to go to this container here and inside of this container we create a decoration and a box decoration object and here you can supply a gradient and we want to create a linear gradient so we have here two colors one at the top and one at the bottom and then we have here this gradient between these two colors. So we put here these colors inside, so we put one color inside and the other color and we also say we want to start here at the top center and we also want to end here at the bottom center. And now if I hot reload you see that we have here this gradient of two colors and I also can change here this color so that you see it more exactly that we have here two colors and it's changing here the color. And yeah, you can choose here any color which you like and you can also choose here other locations. So you can also start here, for example, at the top right corner and then it looks like this. And you can basically play around with these values like you want to have your card. I put it again back to the red color. And by the way, if you want to get the source code, you can get this example here with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient Flutter developer. Let's also create some more interesting examples. So this time we want to create some images in our card and we will build here two different cards. So one with only an image and another one with some text and some buttons below. And therefore we start here with this card and we have it already rounded. And now here inside we place a stack because we want to first of all to display here an image. And on top of this image we want to display a text and therefore we use here the stack. And we also align it to the center because our text later will be aligned here to the center. 
and therefore we put here the alignment inside and now we want to create first of all this image so i put here a network image inside and put here a url of this image inside which we want to display and we also want to set for this image a height and also we fit it here to the cover so that it covers the whole image and then our card looks already like this and to display also text on top of it we also want to set here this color filter and what you can do is to set here this color filter to grayscale. So I put here a new file inside and I put here exactly this code inside to actually create this gray filter. And now if I hot reload, you see that this image got here gray and this is only because of this filter. And we also want now to place a text on top of this image. But first of all, let's also put here this inkwell inside. And if we do this, then you can basically tap on this image and then you have here this splash effect. And this looks pretty cool. And then you can put here inside of this on tap handler, the functionality inside what should happen if you click on this image. All right, now let's also put the text on top of this image. So we simply go here after our image and put here also this text inside. So this is a basic text with the color of white. And now we have here also the text on top of our image. Let's now also create here this last example. So we have an image and below we have some text and some buttons. So we start again here with the card and it is again rounded. And inside of it, we place first of all the stack. And here I simply copy the thing what we created before. So we have here again this image and also some other text. And it looks then like this. We don't align it right now, so we have not this alignment here at our stack level because we want to set it here to the text directly. So what we do is we wrap this text here inside of a new positioned widget and here we set the bottom and the right and left side. So we want to align it here to the bottom and it should be here expanding from the left to the right. And if we do this, then you see that we have here 16 pixels at the bottom, 16 pixels at the left side and also 16 pixel at the right side. Let's go further and also place here some text below this image. And what we do therefore is we wrap the stack inside of this column. And after our stack, after our image here, we want to display actually the text. So we create here a new text object. And if I do this, it looks like this. So we have here our card and our text inside. However, it doesn't look great because we have no space at the sides. So what we do is we wrap this into a padding object and we set here this padding to all sides besides the bottom. So at the bottom, we don't want to have any space. And now it looks like this. So we have here the 16 pixels on the left side, on the right side and at the top, but not on the bottom because here we also want to display some buttons. And therefore we simply go here after our text and put here also this button bar inside and here you simply place two buttons inside so we put here one flat button inside and also another one and if I now hot reload you see that we have here two buttons and we can also tap on them and then you have here this cool effect. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!